What is up Marvel Universe fanatics? It's Ash Rock back with another review. This is going to be on the Marvel Universe Patriot. Um, sorry about last week. I got a lot of private messages and emails and some of my boys text me about where's the review at and you know right now I'm going through a little bit of transition in my life, personal life, um, looking for a house and you know if any of you ever bought a house it, it gets a little you know rough around the edges. You're trying to find the right place. It's the, you know the biggest investment you'll ever make in your life. And as of right now, it's it's a real it's a buyer's market. So I'm being real, 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 real picky about what I buy um, because it's my freaking future. So there you go with that. Um, no excuses though. I know you guys are mad and you're pissed off and you're like, oh my god, we miss your sexy voice. <laughs> so all my groupies, I'll be back. Don't worry, I'm here. I'm here. Poppy ain't going nowhere, bitches. All right. So here he is, the Marvels uh, Patriot. Um, this figure is part of uh, series number four. He is number two in that series. So let's look at the box art really quick. So there it is. Uh, again, Ed McGuinness on the art with this one. This one's not that bad. Again, I'm not a biggest fan of Ed McGuinness because of his cartoony style. But uh, this one is not bad at all. Uh, Marvel's Patriot. There it is. I don't know why they say Marvel's Patriot. Is it because maybe DC has one? Includes the collectible comic shot. Yay. Or gay. Uh, and then uh, there he is right there pointing at you um, the bio yes read the bio the other characters in the uh, wave and then collect uh, collect them all what is he saying uh, four out of five Deadpools recommend Deadpool for their patients who use Deadpool <laughs> okay not that funny so here he is. Uh, before I start it, of course, he comes with this collectible comic shit. So there it is. So, yippee. Whatever. Um, and really quick, before I actually start the actual review, I will be putting up another video right after this one. Uh, I'll go over the uh, what was showcased at the Toy Fair uh, 2012. I wasn't there or anything, but I will set it up, and we'll go over some of the figures later on in another video. So here he is. Um... The body mold looks very familiar, and reason being is because it is the Bucky body mold. I, I didn't pull out the Bucky to show you guys, but it's the exact same body mold as that one. Uh, let's start off with the paint apps. Um, digging it big time. I mean, red, white, and blue, obviously. He's a patriot. Um, who doesn't lose like the football team as often? <laughs> they got their asses kicked. I was kind of happy to see that, actually. But uh, sorry to my Boston friends. Um... But really cool colors, man. Uh, he's got the, uh, you know, again, red, white, and blue all over. Um, the centerpiece here, he's got the, you know, those little gold um, uh, screws or templates in his chest. Comes all the way around. Um, the, the blue doesn't have, the blue on him doesn't have much shading. Actually, it does. It's not that bad. Uh, oh, excuse me. The shading is not that bad. Uh, you got the solid white there with the red stripe coming down. The uh, belt buckle, I think, came out real nice, really neat. I like it a lot. Um, obviously, got a lot of accessories he's got in there that you can't really get out. But whatever. Uh, blue boots, again. Um, the head sculpt. Let's zoom in on this bad boy. There he is right there. So really, really cool stuff. Um, again, real simple, but uh, really neat, though. Star came out real nice on him. Uh, not much paint defects on mine, luckily. Uh, the shield is, uh, we've seen the shield a million times um, with the Captain America's, the classic Captain America. Uh, this one has a bit of a glossy finish to it. As you can see, the light's kind of reflecting off of it. But a real nice shield, nonetheless. Um, uh, so for paint apps, I think they did an excellent, excellent job, man. Four out of five for paint apps, so really good stuff there. Let's remove the shield so we can go over some of the articulation. Um, head rotates all the way around. It's on a ball joint, not hinge, just ball joint. Uh, 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 sh shoulder joints, blech. upper uh, bicep, uh, single jointed elbows. Uh, it rotates at the, uh, uh, not at the wrist, but at the um, the forearm there. Um, and really quick with mine, if you guys have this figure as well, I don't know, um, but a little flimsy with these little, uh, arms or these these little this little part right here. Um, it's a little, I don't know if it's a quality control thing, but mine came out real loose. Kind of like your girls, you know what. Um, he, uh, he doesn't come with a pistol, but he's got these uh, pistol hands, obviously, using the same mold as the Bucky. So if you got some guns, you could definitely pose him with some cool guns. Um, <clears throat> he's got 
Now it rotates at the waist. He's got the ab crunch, but it is limited because of this uh, this little centerpiece here. Um, but nonetheless, it's still a really cool looking uh, figure. Uh, hinge on the legs, no upper um, uh, thigh, double jointed knees, and then the foot rotates 360 and goes up and down. Very limited with the up and down, but still not bad. So for articulation, I'm actually going to give him a 3 out of 5. Um, you know, obviously using an older mold, but um, it's still not that bad. Um, and then the final score, he will get a 4 out of 5. Um, I know a lot of people, again, are like, what the hell, is this an older figure, older mold, blah, blah, blah. Why am I so lonely? You know, how come I haven't gotten laid in four years? Um, and I tell you, you know, you'll eventually get laid. You just have to, you know, get a prostitute or a hooker. Um, <laughs> such a jag. <laughs> Speaking of jag, that's all you do. <laughs> Compulsive masturbators. Uh, but no, but the final score is going to be a 4 out of 5. I'm real goofy today. I just haven't done a video in a while, so I'm feeling good. Um, 4 out of 5, no, man. I mean, they, I think they did a really good job um, giving us a Young Avenger. Uh, he's part of the Young Avengers, obviously. So I don't know if that is a sign of more Young Avengers to come. Um, but that would be pretty cool uh, to eventually get that whole team. Um, I would have liked to see a uh, like a, a variant of, of him with the actual head. Uh, he is African American, he's black, but, uh, you know, nobody, you can't really tell that unless you actually read the comics or pay attention to him, so, um, it would have been cool to have a <clears throat> head swap, and actually, honestly, I wish they would do that more often, give us some more head sculpts, and, um, for certain characters, and just be able to, um, you know, swap out the head and have a different dynamic with the, with the figures. Um, matter of fact, I think I was talking to one of my buddies, uh, and I said, I would, it would be cool to come out with like a 12 pack of just heads, you know, as, as stupid as that sounds, but just a bunch of different heads, uh, you know, Tony Stark, Spider-Man, Peter Parker, uh, everybody, Wolverine, I mean, it, it'd be pretty neat to have it, um, but who knows, maybe down the line, but um, yeah, so there you guys go, thank you so much for watching, and the next review, which will be next week, okay, will be...